In Uganda, there are many kinds of people. Most are poor. But even amongst the poor, they are the poorest of the poor. They often live in one-room shanties, barely surviving on pennies a day. I'm one of those that knows poverty. I've lived it. We all have dreams of a better life, but is it really possible to ever escape poverty? Through hard work and determination, I have managed to succeed. Today I'm helping to make a difference working with Uganda's poorest of the poor. Women mostly, women who live on less than a dollar a day. Women who have experienced hunger, disease, and all that comes with that. Beat for Life is a 10-year-old nonprofit organization that works with women in Uganda to empower them economically and, and socially through the creation of small businesses. The core of our original business training was women who come in and earn income through bead making out of recycled paper, and those are the products that we sell to fund all of our work. So sometimes we could get business ideas from the trainings that we attend. But we're limited in the number of people that we can serve in those programs by the number of products that we can sell around the world. And so a couple of years ago we launched our street business school. And the idea behind this is really taking all the great curriculum and training and the way we work with the women that we've developed in our um, product-based programs and taking those to women who don't ever make a product for us but have a desire to start a business. We are going to see what kind of businesses we can do from. And so the Street Business School is really asking women to invest their time and energy in learning and getting coached to grow their business in a way that makes them more sustainable. By the time the women leave our program, they are able to stand alone and they don't need to depend so much on their husbands to provide for them. So these women are more empowered and this is something that is going to be in their life for a long time to come. She knows what to do. She knows like, the quality. She knows it's important to bring good quality produce. What we do is we teach these women how to be competitive in those markets. If there are five people selling produce, how do you have the best stand? How do you keep your customers coming back? And these ideas around marketing and uh, customer service are really critical. They're things that women maybe have never thought about or never learned but it can give them an edge on and having a really creative business that provides great value to the communities and sustains them. Over there, there are many vegetable stores, but as you can see, they are not busy. No one is even walking there. So probably the owner of that stall is sleeping, waiting for the customers to come while they're all running to her. She knows it's good to have you know, the customer care. If you take care of your customers well, they'll come back for more and more and more. But if you don't, then that's what will happen. It's always been our philosophy that business was the way to help women out of poverty and what we really do is we create an opportunity for those women to create the lives that they want. That statement whether one can escape poverty, I think yes. If someone really has that drive, they can succeed. There is nothing that is impossible. I know this for a fact. 